What do you share online? What are you comfortable with? Have that relationship with your child so they can be able to come and tell you if they are, what, what Ole is saying. They are able to regulate themselves because that is their world. The internet does not forget. Let's take back the, the ownership. Let's be the drivers of how we consume social media. That social media literacy is, is missing. Uh, you know, questions about do I believe everything that I see on, on social media? And, and that social media literacy then would entail just being aware of, you know, the fact that not everything that people share on social media is true. Think before you post, is it true? Is it helpful? Could be true, but who is it helping? Is it inspirational? Is it necessary? And finally, is it kind? We have seen people get depressed because of, you know, um, unrealistic expectations from social media. If you don't have uh, the facts for it, don't say it. But if you have the facts, say it. I think we have a great opportunity uh, to, uh, you know, teach um, society as a whole, uh, you know, on just proper use um, of, of social media so that we also guard our, our mental well-being. We have people who are positively influencing society through social media, whether it's WhatsApp, Telegram. Build communities around those things. The power of entertainment, of linking, of connecting is really powerful. You know, working with different, uh, you know, communities, uh, empowering them, you know, giving them the skills and competencies on how to leverage uh, social media uh, for, for good. With these communities coming together, we now have even more Twitter spaces where guys can now talk about uh, just the different problems that you're facing. We work for Bonga, it's called Let's Bonga. We offer free anonymous counseling. We decided to jump into action and offer free anonymous counseling to anyone, any age, at any time.